Hi fashion or bargain basement. Can you tell the difference between an outfit that costs hundreds of dollars versus maybe one that costs just 10? 10 News reporter and anchor Allison Croft took that question to the streets of Tampa to find out. It's tonight's 10 News Extra. Some people swear they can tell the difference between expensive and cheap clothing, but can they? We hit the stores with fashion consultant Kelly Mashbit. At Nordstrom, we pick up a dress for $378 and an outfit for $243. We buy a dress for $127.40 and an outfit for $80.29 at Dillard's. At Marshall's, a $39.99 dress and a $49.98 outfit. And at Goodwill, a $10.86 dress and a $9.04 outfit. Then we head to the streets of Tampa to see if anyone can tell the difference. We start with the dresses. First up, Lisa Hosack. You're just going to take these four mm -hmm. and you're going to put the price, each has a different price, mm -hmm. next to the dress that you think costs that amount. She makes her choices quick and only pauses for a moment to decide between $39.99 and $127.40. How do you feel about your choices? I think they're right. What were you basing on? What were you looking Just at? Just kind of looking at the material. All right, are you ready? Yes. Okay, what were the prices? Oh my God, completely wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely opens my eyes because I can be a little snobby about the prices. Mm -hmm. So yeah, would we'll definitely keep it in mind. Think a guy can tell? Eric Gaines seems kind of overwhelmed at first, but makes some pretty confident and quick picks. How do you feel about your choices? Uh, Big money. Okay, are you ready to see how you did? Yeah. All right, ladies. I don't wear clothes. <laughs> Not one match. Well, <laughs> what do you think about this choice over here? That's a $10 dress and you picked That's three. That's a steal. That's a good, that's a nice looking dress for 10 bucks. The closest to getting it right? This one's a $10 dress. Jordan and Matt. After some discussing, they decide guessing is their best course of action. Are you confident with your choices? Not at all. I want to switch. <laughs> yeah, now you're listening to me. All right. All right. How are you confident? Feel? All right, girls. Not very confident. I don't think. All right, show anything. your prices. Dang it! I switched them. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good, though, right? That was pretty, pretty good. good. Now to the second outfits. Sarah Guler and Joyce and Daya team up and seem as if they know their stuff until they get indecisive. I think the 904 might be that one or that one. What do you think? Um, I'm going to take that back. What do you think? After they change their minds one more time, we reveal the prices. Oh, oh you were right about that. Well, at least we got her. <laughs> Decisions are all in the details for Olivia Caldwell and Coke Ignat. That one. No? Oh, torn. I'm looking at the hemlines and stuff. They talk about buttons, stripes, and fit, and finally, a final answer. Okay, I'll do that. Okay. Let's <laughs> see how we do. <laughs> All right, you want to see how you did? Yeah. Yes. All right, ladies. <gasps> no. There you go. Nothing like right. that. <laughs> you did pretty good. Right. Does it make you think, though, that price maybe doesn't matter? Price doesn't matter. It doesn't it's matter. fit. It's about yeah. fit. It takes Matthew Royster a few minutes to get started. He also takes the guessing approach and is a gentleman about it. What you have on is nice. I'm not saying it's cheap. His guesses are good. He gets two right. Now, what makes that more expensive than what she's got on? I mean, they got the same pants on pretty much, so it's got to be the shirt. It's a million dollar question, right? I know, or a $243 question. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Allison Croft, 10 News. Oh, that's great. You just can't tell You sometimes. can't, and you if really you buy can. stuff on sale, go for it. That's right.